Hi, it's Kristen Tollefson, the Education Director at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action Bema from Home. Today I thought we could look at watercolors a little bit. They're a great medium to play with during the summer because they're so simple to clean up. They can be taken outside um, and they can even be made into a travel kit that you can take with you if you are going somewhere away from home. I wanted to show you my watercolor kit that I made out of a candy tin. Um, this one is filled with modeling clay that I could bake in the oven, like Sculpey or Fimo, and I built some little moats out of the modeling clay. You can see them right here. Then I took some liquid watercolor out of a tube and squirted it in each one of the little compartments, and I've got myself a kit that I can take with me that fits in my pocket. It's got a little place to mix colors up here and a place for black and white so I can really make a whole array of different colors by blending them together. There are many people who are very skilled with watercolors and they can do tiny, tiny detail. I am not one of those people. Um, I like watercolor for the way that water moves the color around and for the freedom of letting go when I put watercolor on paper. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of techniques that I like to use when I'm playing, and I'm going to show you a couple of pieces that were samples that I made and talk about those. One technique that I like to use is called wet on wet, and what that means is that you take a wet brush with water and put it on the paper and paint with it in a way that you would like to see a shape. And then you take your wet brush and put it in watercolor and add that to the water and let it flow. And what you get is a beautiful mark or a memory of how the color moved in the water. You can manipulate your paper by tipping it one way or the other and you can also manipulate the paint by squeezing out your brush and taking your dry brush and letting it soak up some of the color to remove color or move it around. So once you have that color in the water on your paper, it's a lovely thing to play with. These pictures were done so using a layering technique where I got a lot of water and a very little bit of color in my brush and painted with that first and then went back layer upon layer with more paint in my brush each time, adding more detail as I went. I also used the wet on wet technique and these pictures are shadows of plants. So I was not so worried about making something that looked exactly like what I was seeing, but I was really concerned with how line and shadow and darker shadows and lighter shadows played together. So doing something like that, finding a shadow that you can paint is another way to get yourself freed up in your artwork. You don't need a lot of supplies to get started with this project. Any kind of paint with water added to it, like acrylic or gouache or watercolor can do the trick of getting color onto a piece of paper. You don't need fancy paper, although experimenting with different kinds of watercolor paper can be fun. Some is rough, some is smooth, and they give you lots of different kinds of effects. We'd love to see what you're working on, and we'd love you to take a picture, send it to us in the comments, upload a link, whatever you've got, and um, we will see you here for the next Art in Action. Until then, 